You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Vida Doggy. I am having a lot of fun escuchando about your dog parties. We have posted pictures and ideas from other listeners in the blog site. Espero que it helps you when time comes to prepare your own dog fiesta. Uh, some of the bark date pops from last month are Mumbai, Dice, Rosie, Penny Lane, Lily Pads, Topino, and Pierre. Todos estos perritos celebrated their birthday in a special and unique way. But for example, uh, Pierre not only had a birthday fiesta, but also a lunch of his mom's Gladys Delgado Garcia company called Dog Gone Couture. We attended his party in Philadelphia, and beside all his friends, we also saw some media, um, a local newspaper and uh, people from a TV show. Gladys chose a tropical theme, muy a lo Hawaiian, and right after things calm down, hablamos un poquito a little. Listen. Today we are celebrating Pierre's sixth birthday and we are in Philadelphia at Dog Gone Couture with Gladys, the owner of Pierre, who has uh, so kindly invited us to, to her big uh, birthday bash and it's all in Hawaiian theme. She, uh, she has the, the doggy cake and treats and everything. Gladys, uh, uh, welcome to Be That Doggy. Thank you. Tell me um, what made you uh, make, you know, what made you plan this party? Well, it was Pierre's birthday, and at the same time, I was able to launch my party and bone bib accessory line. Oh, okay, that's great. So, uh, can you tell me, you know, what were the steps that you took to prepare for everything? Wow, I spent two months going to every shop and planning and just looking over other things out there, your site. Um, I got a lot of inspiration from you. And um, it really took a long time because I wanted it just right for all the friends and family that came. Okay, so how, how do you work on this schedule? Because I see that you have amenities for the dogs, amenities for the people, and you have little souvenirs, like these little soaps that you have that they're so that adorable. Yeah, you make those soaps. Are I those for them. dogs or for humans? No, they're for humans. They're for humans. Yes. Okay, but uh, for our listeners, let me just explain to them that they are like in different shapes, and they are yes. like what, like two inches? They're about two inches. They are bones, fire hydrants, paws, and I think that was it. I think there were three or four of them. And then I also did, because it was a Hawaiian theme, mm -hmm. I also did tropical soaps. Yes, I saw the little palm, palm trees. Right. Pineapple, little. bananas. Mm -hmm. So we did a variety. I had over 200 soaps. Oh, but, oh, okay, so you have over 200 souvenirs, and we also saw that the people from Telemundo and from Impacto, the newspaper, were here. Very impressed. Yes. They were very impressed <laughs> with the whole event. I'm so happy for you. Yes, so how old is Pierre again? I'm sorry. Six. He's six years old today. He's six years old. And My little inspiration. And how long have you been uh, doing the doggone couture? Well, since Pierre was born, because I needed to dress him up, and then it evolved to celebrating him. Oh, okay, great. So we're having a great time at your party. Thank you so much for inviting us. Oh, you're quite we're welcome. gonna post some pictures um, for uh, with ideas for our listeners. I love the sure. background that you have in there for pictures. Oh, that was a family member did that all airbrush, and and I took an old lid from my old truck. And we painted Pierre's face on it too. Yes, the Pierre is everywhere. Pierre yeah, is everywhere. so popular in New York. I mean, you can't walk around and you, <laughs> you know, not mention the name Pierre, and everybody knows he's Gladys' dog. <laughs> and the fact that we did the Hawaii, the beach scene on the tent, and Pierre's lounging in the little chair with the dogs playing volleyball. I thought that was so cute. Yeah, no, and you have great pictures, yes, because I saw them when the doggies were eating the cake. Yeah, they love the cake. Yes. I was so happy to see that. That was good. For yes, me. and so we're gonna post the picture. Thank you so much, Gladys. Oh, we had a great time. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Okay, great. Thanks. I can see that Gladys enjoyed uh, creating the decorations here, organizando la fiesta. Sam, her husband, he was the chef, and let me tell you, he made a mean pasta. We had a great time. Thank you, Gladys. <laughs> we'll be right back, right after these messages. Stay tuned. <laughs> 
It's time for school for you and your friends, your furry best friends. Train your dog the fun and easy way with Teacher's Pet Sessions. Teacher's Pet host Pia Silvani teaches you step-by-step how to train your dog the fun and easy way. You get eight 30-minute live audio training sessions, complete transcripts of each session, plus a basic training manual to get you and your dog off to a great start. Training begins the moment you bring your dog home. Teacher's Pet Sessions offers positive reinforcement training to shape your dog's behavior and encourages upbeat, enthusiastic responses to ensure that your dog will enjoy learning. Teacher's Pet Sessions dog training is fun at both ends of the leash. So listen, learn, and laugh with your dog with Teacher's Pet Sessions. Get your copy of Teacher's Pet Sessions Volume 1 today. To order, go to teacherspetsessions.com. Hi, this is Pia Salvani, your host. Bring your dog, tug toy, and treats, and get ready to have some fun. Teacherspetsessions.com. Want to know what cats like to eat for breakfast? Mice Krispies, of course. Learn everything there is to know about cats on Catitude with your host, Tom Doc. Each week, we'll spotlight a cool cat breed, give up-to-date advice on cat health, and check out spiffy new cat products. So curl up on the couch every week for a perfectly enjoyable time on Catitude. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. If you have celebrated una fiesta for your pet, email me pictures at PetLifeRadio.com and tell me all about it. I would also like to know if you have tried any of the recipes or the projects like the party hats. For those that are working and it's un poquito difícil to make your own, I have started a Bark Day Party Club package on my website www.adanieves.com and in there uh, puedes ordenar from the dog cakes to the treats um, the birthday hats. I want to take a moment to mention an event that was organized by both the New Jersey and Philadelphia Chihuahua Meetup Group. It was called An Enchanting Afternoon by the River. Esto fue un beneficio to help raise funds for Mario, a small chihuahua that needs a neck surgery. I'm going to post a link at our blog for those interested in donating. Continuing uh, our conversation about the fiestas, I want you to know that dogs are not the only ones who can have a party. Si tienes any type of pet, you can also have a celebration on your own or of course with your friends. Just have fun with it. Be creative. You can go through our blog postings for ideas. One example is Matilda's Cari. Instead of party, it's a Cari. Why? Well, Matilda is a cat and celebrated her cat year, su cumpleaños, at the famous New York City Hotel with all her furry friends. We saw some celebrities. The entertainment was a cat fashion show. Uh, there were lots of food and wine. Pero la mejor parte, the best part, was that Matilda, through her caddy, she helped raise awareness for her species, uh, those that need a home at North Shore Animal League of America. The big moment, of course, singing happy birthday to the most popular cat in New York City. Yo estoy organizando un cat fashion show, and hopefully ustedes are going to meet some of these amazing creatures. My favorite is a savannah cat that seemed to weigh more than 15 pounds, como 15 libras for sure. His name is Elvis. He has been featuring books and other media. I'm also sure that I'm not wrong when I'm saying that he is one of the first model cats in the media. Right after these messages. Stay tuned. Give your dog some thought. 
with Dog Thoughts. It's the iPhone application that everyone's talking about. Hey, what do you think of this? A man in Davis, California says he's invented an application for the iPhone that claims it can read your dog's mind. Huh? No, it's true. I read about it on my cat's Twitter page. That's why. Jay Leno talked about it, CBS reported on it, and now you can see what all the buzz is about. Created just for dog lovers, Dog Thoughts makes taking photos of your furry best friend more fun. Shake your dog and read his mind. <gasps> on your iPhone, of course. Take a pic of your pup, shake your phone, and watch as his thoughts appear on the screen. Does he have a bone to pick with you, or is he having a tail-wagging day? Get your Dog Thoughts iPhone app today. Just 99 cents. Go to PetLifeRadioPromotions.com. That's PetLifeRadioPromotions.com. Greetings, human. What planet am I on? Welcome to Pet Planet. Here's a copy of Pet Planet Magazine, Florida's most informative and fun pet resource magazine. It features heartwarming stories and informative articles from local and national pet experts. Excellent. Pet Planet Magazine offers Operation Planet Rescue, helping rescued pets find new homes. And it's available at 500 locations in South and Central Florida and 24-7 on the Internet at PetPlanetMagazine.com. If you're out and about with your pet, you may be featured in Paparazzi, Candid Pictures of You and Your Pet. For up-to-date pet-friendly events, activities, and pet-related services and products, Pet Planet Magazine is your final destination. I shall take this magazine home with me. Back to your home planet? No. To my condo in Boca. Pet Planet Magazine. Check them out at www.petplanetmagazine.com or 352-394-8578. It's out of this world. New York, the glitz, the glamour, the exciting muttropolis, the sparkling kitty city that never sleeps. Join us each week for Pets in the City with your host, Diane West. Celebrity pet sightings, hot events, and news and reviews with the hottest movers, shakers, and tail waggers in New York. So take a bite out of the Big Apple with Pets in the City every week on demand only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. One important feature in a party are the photos. They can be taken either by a professional, yourself, or your friends. This is what is left for you to remember and to look back uh, when you're sharing with your amigos, with your friends. Para aquellos que no saben, uh, we just acquired a new family member. His name is Mojito, and going with our tradición, with each of the past chihuahuas, he had his pictures taken just days after arriving home. The timing couldn't have been more perfect. Pet photographer Brooke Jacobs needed puppies for an upcoming project, and Mojito fitted in her plans. So I grew Mojito. I trimmed the ears and whiskers. I cut the itty bitsy nails that he has because he's real small. I cleaned the ears, washed him with baby wipes, and he was ready. We arrived at Brooke's apartment on time, and Mojito posed for the first time. I was like a proud mother, beaming a smile from side to side. And taking advantage of the moment, I asked Brooke for some points on good pet photos and what she said uh, was this. Okay, guys, we're here today with Brooke Jacobs, a famous photographer for pets. How are you, Brooke? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Be That Doggy. <laughs> yes, we're having today oh. our first photo shoot for Mojito, my new baby. Yes, and he's precious and he did amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, Brooke, uh, can you tell us a little about your business? Well, I've been doing exclusively pet photography for about seven years now, but I've always photographed animals. My mom run, ran an animal shelter and still does. 
So I've always been around animals and I've always done photography and it took me a little while to put them together, but I am very happy that I kind of found that piece of uh, <laughs> where I should be going. <laughs> That's great. So now my listeners, you know, are always looking for ideas for the, you know, pet parties because that's what we concentrate the most. Obviously, photography is something that uh, we pay a lot of attention because we have we want to have a good portrait or some of the dogs, uh, the, the owners want some of the dogs to go and work for the media and things like that. Do you have any tips that you can share with, with all of us for how to have a pet do a good job when they're in a photo session? Yes. Um, well, one thing would be it, it, it's best if you could have two people working so that you have one behind the camera and one helping with treats and or noises and toys. Um, also, just to prepare them, you know, obviously you'd want them to be clean and washed, but if you could prepare them... I'm, glad, I'm <laughs> glad that you mentioned that because, I mean, grooming is essential. I'm always telling people, you know, groom the dog. You know, I, usually, I mean, my, my, with my own dogs, I trim the ears, I, I trim the whiskers, the, 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 you know, the, the little hairs, everything, you know, to, so in my picture they look nice and clean, neat. Yes, if you know beforehand you're going to be having your pet photograph, they should be nice and clean. Because I've definitely had people who's like, can you make the, the brown on their chin white? And usually, I'm, I can maybe, but I'm not a retoucher, I'm a photographer. And uh -huh. It's much uh -huh. easier for everyone when it's just... Yes. And, it, and, it's, and it's nicer when, they, when it's a natural, good-looking dog. It makes the job so much easier, too. Yes. Uh -huh. But treats, toys, and if you can have an extra hand, that makes the biggest difference. Okay, great, Brooke. Thank you so much for those tips. We're going to post uh, your website in our blog site so our listeners can take a look at your work. And you are obviously available for you I know for work am. yes and then she she has a very nice setup with the lights and the camera <laughs> and everything really cute studio and uh, great job thanks thank you thank <laughs> okay. you so much besides being tremendous photographer brooke is an amazing human being ella está committed to help save animals just like her famous mom miss norma jacobs but let me give you tips that i have learned from mis propias experiencias one is to practice before any photo shoot Try to have your dog stay for a few seconds at a time, always rewarding and praising for doing well. As you do this, while the dog stays, step away slowly a few feet. This is going to teach your dog to stay and sit while the photographer can work freely and he or she can get better shots. This is very helpful if you are exploring the idea of working professionally. Like Brooke mentioned, it's better to have help besides the photographer, the handler, you, uh, should be able to concentrate on having the dogs obeying. Uh, have plenty of treats on hand. I do not feed my guys before a photo shoot. That way, they are more attentive and I do not overfeed them. To have another person making noises or getting you the squeaky toys, the treats, etc. is really helpful and the job is going to be done más rápido. Uh, how about we do something fun? I'm divertido for now. Send me your best photos. Again, can be professional or taken by you or your friends. By our next episodio, we will choose the one that gets my most attention to win a prize. You know it's going to be a good one. You can find it at our Vida Doggy blog site. If you're having a professional photographer at your doggy party, it should be mapped in one party zone. Create a colorful sign to let people know that that is the area for professional pictures taken. You can be even more creative and do like Gladys Delgado Garcet had prepared for Pierre's sixth birthday, a hand-painted mural that served as background for the photos. This was done like in a paper uh, trace paper so they could you know take out when they were not going to use it again this background can resemble the party theme or occasion even the dog painted again like peers try to get a nice collection of photos from all the perritos the doggies that attended that way when it's time to send the thank you notes you can include a cd of photos from the party as a gift Si hay algo that we all love to keep getting and cherish is pictures of our beloved pets. 
especialmente if they are enjoying a special occasion. For an even more interesting thank you gift, imagine pillows or bags featuring the push portraits. This will take a lot more of work, but the effort will be worth it. For your pictures, get the photos at least on a 300 dpi for digital images or have one 8x10 nicely framed. If you get one frame photo every year, you can have a very nice wall display and see how your pop have changed throughout the years. They can even be used for next year's party invitations, the cover or design. Now make sure that you discuss all of this with the photographer prior to hiring them so you don't infringe on any copyright issues. Photos that you want to make sure you'll get, one of the doggy with the cake, a group photo with all the guests and one of the family can be you and the dog or the dog with the other pets that you have any combination of what family is then of course a nice portrait of the pup by itself there you have it guys hope this discussion is helpful and put your creativity to work we are going to end for today remember to email me those pictures, I want to see them. Quiero verlos. We will give a nice surprise gift. Una sorpresa muy buena. Gracias y muchos besos, hugs and kisses from us at Vida Doggy at PetLiveRadio.com. Remember to also check our friends at the other shows. And until the next one. Hasta la próxima. Bye. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.